Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And first, I wanna thank you guys for your kind comments and questions and interaction. It's very, very nice to hear from you guys. You know, the critique is always welcome, and um, I, I really just like hearing from people. One of the things I get asked about a good bit, people ask me about drawing and painting people. You know, some features are just harder. Some features are just easier for other people. I like doing eyes. The eyes are easy for me. They've never been really a problem. Hands, you know, I, they don't really bother me that much. Those are easy. Mouths, on the other hand, they're hard. <laughs> like, that's an area where like sometimes I'll work all the way around it sometimes before I actually dive in and do that and it's just it's one of those critical areas so it's funny that it bugs me so much because I found out throughout history it bugs other artists too. If you're familiar with the very famous American portrait painter John Singer Sargent, he has a very very funny quote, a portrait is a painting with something wrong with the mouth. And that's true, <laughs> like whenever I see, you know, my finished pieces, I'm like, oh, that could be stronger right there, you know. Um, so we're gonna watch Julie flail around on camera a little bit and I'll try and show you some of the techniques for drawing, you know, successful mouths. You know, understand that they are, they are tricky for a couple of reasons. Um, it's because they convey so much um, in terms of emotion and feel for that entire person's face. Yes, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Mouth is the window to attitude. Um, and so if you botch that up, there's a whole lot of emotion and feeling and also likeness that happens right there. Um, there's a lot of unique characteristics that are on um, people's mouths that really define how their whole face reads. So that's why they're, they're tricky. We grab this little image off of the internet and we're just going to do our best and I'll show you how I break them down and uh, we'll go from there. So first thing I'm looking at is the symmetry um, at this line right here that goes right here at the corners of the mouth. All right, so we'll drop that in like that. And then we will drop a center line down the middle and already when you when you get those two lines in I'm already noticing that even though this is a very handsome person and has a good bit of symmetry in his face this side of his lower lip is lower than the other so what we're going to do is keep this line here we're going to drop a center line here and you know there's some little tips to keep in mind about female mouth versus male mouths. One is that generally men have a thicker lower lip that in the profile will actually many times jut out past their front lip um, and women are kind of the opposite where the top lip is generally a little bit um, thicker and that one will will come out a little bit more. So we are going to put this oval shape in here where his mouth is is actually open and you can see on this side he's a little asymmetrical where his um, mouth opens a little differently on that side. Now people are going, what about the ovals? You're supposed to put the ovals in. Well yeah, you are, but I don't do things like other people in so very many areas of my life. So I like to put this in first because I can adjust it up or down as I need to as I go along. All right, so I got that. Now, what are the ovals? What, what am I, you know, meandering about? Generally, what people are talking about is to get the fullness of the lip right, you're going to be looking at an oval right here. You're going to be looking at an oval right here, one right here, one right here. 
and then sometimes people go crazy and then put two over there. So what we need to do is put that one in, that one in, this one in, that one's big, and then that one in. So as you can see, I'm not like, like firing in a really, really dark line there. That doesn't serve you very well in these contexts because you're going to have to kind of move and adjust and kind of go with the flow. If you're the kind that can rock it in a really dark line and hit it the first time, kudos to you, but um, that is not me. The other thing that I'm noticing here is that the center line that I dropped in for where his cupid's bow occurs, this little dip, um, doesn't line up with his teeth. So he has a, f a fun little thing right here where his tooth here is off to the side a little bit, uh, which is one of those kind of little indicators of what makes different people, you know, look like themselves. Those funny little nuances that are just different about each person. So I'm just kind of putting a little indicator line in there, but we're gonna come up here and now, what some people do is they'll do a, a, like a V that shoots off of here, off of that center point. And that's, that's a thing you can do. Um, I kind of like putting in the curve first because I find that I overshoot the V a lot. So we're gonna kind of get that in. All right, so we got that little feature. Now, the other thing is, is that m men's lips are, you know, granted they're not outlined with a lip liner. Um, and so they're not these perfect little pouty, you know, contraptions that we see all over the place. And so what I like to do is, you know, you can drop a line here, drop a line here, kind of give yourself an idea of like what you're looking at in terms of what the width of it is. Now, cool part is this guy, his top and his bottom lip roughly end right about the same spot. You will notice on some people's lips that the coloring for their lip does not end like here at the corner, it may be like really, really pale and stuff like that. So it can make this shape look very, very different. But this guy is pretty, pretty darn symmet symmetrical in that way. So we're gonna get this kind of thick oval here, bring it up. And then we're gonna bring this up and like we said before, that side is a little higher than the other one. Bring it around right here. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm using a mechanical pencil. I like them. <laughs> they are my friend. <laughs> and uh, I've been using them quite a bit. I really, really like this rotary. ring. I had one of these in college a long, long time ago. And when I saw that we had picked them up, I was like, ooh. Um, so... I got one and now I use it. I use it all the time. So um, then we're gonna get a little, little teeny circle because there's a lot of times a little funny, cute little overlap right there where people's mouths come together. Now we need to bridge the different distance between that and this and that and this. So then we're going to take it down like that, and then he's got a cool little curve. And I've gotten a little overzealous with that, so we're gonna take it down a little bit. And then that one's a little, little high. So we'll come down here. And bring it in like that. Now, 
it looks a little female right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out, widen it a little, so it's not so pouty. And then broaden that out a little bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna, what I will do is I'm gonna be looking at shadow shapes. I'm gonna be looking at like where does this end where we kind of lose any kind of framework for where his teeth are in there. So I'm gonna bring that in. And you can kind of see a tooth in there. And then that comes in here. And I've got this tooth too low. Where's my eraser? I don't know. Yeah, I generally use a factus for this kind of stuff. Um, so then we have this tooth here. Uh, and it comes up. And that one. Sorry, my brain is not naturally programmed for uh, drawing like this and talking, so you had to give me a little leeway here. <laughs> this, is, this is hard, I don't know why, but drawing um, and talking is harder for me than painting and talking. I don't know, I don't know what that's about. Um, so, then we got, what does this look like here? Then we can start to kind of put in like little details of like where the, um, the lines are in the lip. Um, and then we have like some reference points for where our highlights fall and stuff like that. Um, we have a really, really dark shape that's over here in this corner. And a little peak of the next tooth there. And, you know, and it's not perfect. Um, you know, nobody's lips are, look like Disney drew them. Uh, so we got some little indicators of the curve and the fullness of the lip. Now one of the things on these kind of sketches is that you would need some kind of, how do you define the light as you put something dark next to it. So he's got a really, really cool um, light shape that's on the top of his lip, but the only way you can say that on white paper is to put something dark next to it. So, you know, you've got some stuff like that happening. Um, and we'll, this is real rough guys, real quick, but it gives you an idea of what the construction is behind how this works. I'll darken this line to give it a little bit of, demonstrate a little bit of the architecture and the curvature of it. But again, to kind of define this, he's got a interesting little shadow shape underneath here that goes and it tells you that this is protruding over the, the shape that's below it. And then we've got some cool shadow here. And granted, I would spend much more time doing this a much more analytical way, but this gives you an idea of what the basic construction is of how mouths are put together and how to execute those pieces so that they read believably on a flat plane like the paper is. 
this will just kind of get you started. Granted, I would, of course, be much more deliberate about my shadows and stuff. You know, as I continue to work on this and develop, you know, everything that's in here, that should get you well on your way for how that stuff is done. So I hope this is helpful to you. A little bit of a tool for your toolbox. So don't be afraid, jump in there, try some faces, work out how all the pieces integrate together, make use of these tools, practice and practice, and hope that you enjoy.